Today is Monday, October 19th, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's 55 degrees and rainy in Syracuse today. I'm Walker Simmons. Here are today's top stories. Syracuse University's third round of coronavirus surveillance testing will begin tomorrow, October 20th. This new round of testing comes just after the university managed to contain the COVID-19 case cluster on campus. The university now has 19 active cases, and all students living on and off campus are required to get tested this week. The testing site is at the Dome. Students can enter through Gate N, and the testing center will be open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And a new house professor, Sherry Taylor, passed away last night. New house Dean Mark Lodato announced that she died after a fight with a long illness. Taylor taught at Newhouse for over three decades, and she was a member of the Visual Communications Department. Hendricks Chapel will be holding a virtual community service for all students and faculty tomorrow at 6 p.m. The service will also be streamed on Hendricks Chapel's Facebook page. An early voting in New York will begin this Saturday, October 24th, and run through November 1st. Every registered voter has the eligibility to vote early within their respective county, and if you've requested an absentee ballot but would like to vote in person, you can do so. Your in-person vote will count, will be the vote that counts. If you're a student at SU and you would like to vote in person, the closest testing site is at the DeWitt Town Hall Courtroom, located on Butternut Drive in East Syracuse. To see times you can vote in addition to other locations, visit Syracuse.com. And coming up, the hearing for Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett are over. Talking Points will break down the next steps in her confirmation process. Well, that's all the time we have for you on Citrus TV Now. I'm Walker Simmons. Have a wonderful evening, Syracuse.